Hello everyone, just a quick video for you today that hopefully I'll be able to finish up before the sun sets on us here and we, we lose most of the natural light that we're using. Um, this is from the Bath & Body Works Fresh Picked Spring um, event, I guess they were calling it, I'm not sure what the official name was. Uh, I went to one of the test stores and I picked up a little sort of random mix of things, um, mostly repurchases on candles that I already enjoy as well as um, one or two new ones that I have not purchased uh, and some of the Fresh Picked, sort of the second wave of the fresh picked soaps. Uh, usually, I mean, I purchase their soaps fairly regularly. I usually don't do them in videos because they're fairly basic, but I figured, um, I think when they did the fall or, yeah, the, the fall fragrance event, I think I might have included some of the soaps as well as the, you know, the little free gift, uh, the four ounce candle when I did that sort of video that was a little more like a haul video as opposed to the ones where I do, it, which are usually just sort of collection videos of, of groups of scents. But I figured, uh, I did that last time, so I might as well do it this time and, and do quick reviews of some of the scents that I haven't reviewed for you, um, and just more, you know, an overall of everything that I got here. So the first ones, we're already losing some of the light here. Uh, lemon Mint Leaf, uh, a lot of these you've already smelled because they're not really test scents for the most part, um, and I may have reviewed them in earlier videos, but they're ones that I love, so I got more of them. So Lemon Mint Leaf, you know, the perfect sort of bright, super citrusy but herbal, more herbal than anything, candle, um, burns great and I love it. Uh, honeysuckle, another one that is really fantastic, I love it, uh, it was a test scent a few years back, it came out last year, this year, just the perfect floral without being overly powdery or heavy, um, I think of it more as sort of late summer but I'll probably burn it now just because there are so many florals to get through before the beachy kind of ones start out in, you know, May and June that um, I figured I might as well start now so I don't, you know, have run out of time before I get ready for fall. Uh, Lilac Blossom. I really, really love this, um, which is kind of surprising. I, I've never actually purchased it. I, I got it in a test form last year um, at, when it was on a super discount. It was a large, I think maybe 20 or 24 ounce candle and then a very large, flat, low three wick jar that came in a gift box. Um, and I haven't burned that. I'm not sure if I will. It's just so big. It's a big commitment to, to light that. Um, the Lilac Blossom is one of those scents. It's been around for a long time. It always it's sort of a standard at this point. It's very strong. In fact, my mom has one, and and um, I don't even know. I think for a year or two now she's had it, and she puts it out, you know, during the springtime, and she hasn't even lit it yet. Some sometimes she the candles are a little too strong for her, and um, just taking the lid off um, in a small enough room, she, she gets whiffs of it, and it's kind of enough. Um, so it's very very intense, but it's also very authentic, which I really like. The ones that are not always a mishmash blend, but just something that is a pure, uh, you know, true authentic uh, version of the scent. Um, so this first came out, you know, w way back in December in test stores in the White Barn floral line, but now we got it in the Fresh Picked, which I actually, um, I like this label a lot better, so I'm kind of glad I held off on buying it, but really it's a very nice pure scent, and I, and I got it in the Eucalyptus Mint and Lilac um, and really enjoyed that one, so I figured I might as well go for the Pure Lilac as well. You'll recognize Southern Magnolia. Uh, I did a video on this uh, maybe two, a month or two ago at this point. Um, this, unfortunately, it seems like it may be a test scent yet again that is not going wide. Um, it was a test scent a good two years ago. It didn't go wide then, and now it seems to be that it's not hitting all stores or the website, so I think it might, unfortunately, be a test scent um, this year as well, but never say never. Uh, it, it's I love it. It's got a, a true magnolia, very watery, kind of green notes, a little bit of, or a good bit of peach nectar. And um, it's a good replacement for, uh, I hate to say it, for flower shops since it looks like that's nowhere to be seen this year. Um, they could surprise us with a late release of it, but I highly doubt it at this point. It, it's pretty much, they've done their main releases. They'll do, you know, perhaps the lakeside and um, Italian collections in the stores. But after those, it's pretty much, they're going to be, you know, at this point it's March. By mid-June, they're going to be clearancing most of the collections out, and come July, they'll start doing the tests of, as soon as the semi-annual sale is over at least, they'll start doing the tests of the fall scents, is generally how they've been doing it. So um, pretty much, if it's not in a test store now, it's unlikely to release um, for the spring or summer. So I hate to say it, but it, it probably won't come back. And this is similar enough to it that at least it, you know, it fills the void to a certain extent. Then we've got Oceanside, which I've said before I'm not a big fan of Oceanside. I still am not a big fan of it, but um, a, a couple of folks in the comments uh, co commented, <laughs> surprise, and on my, uh, the, I forget what we called it, the Around the World collection, um, part two, where we had the Rio Heat, the Malibu, 
Malibu, not Malibu Smash, Malibu, no, Malibu Heat, Malibu Heat, Rio Glow, those ones, you know, which ones I'm talking about, the, the city candles. And um, uh, I, I mentioned maybe doing a comparison video of Flirt, Paris Daydream, Oceanside, Sparkling Icicles, uh, and Seat. Yeah, NC to Santorini. Um, so a couple of you said that you'd enjoy that, so I figured it's on sale. I was doing the the large sort of haul today. I might as well throw this one in there. Um, if anything, if I don't love it, I can just give you know give it away. I probably won't even light it. If I'm get, of course, if I'll give it away, I won't light it. But um, I figured I might as well have it if I was going to do that video rather than trying to remember. Since I wanted to do a true sort of in depth comparison for those of us who are you know, the super noses that are really obsessive about the scents. Um, so look forward, probably my next video will be that one, so stay tuned for that. Um, Fabrizio loved this one when he smelled it in the store today, so I grabbed this, Eucalyptus Mint and Guava number 4. I already had it um, from the fall, and I actually haven't lit it yet. You know, I, I tend to hold on to things until it's the appropriate season, and for me, Guava is much more summer. Um, so I, I'll show you the notes just because it is a test scent, and maybe everyone hasn't um, seen all of the videos that... that you know, the crazies that we've done. Um, so this one is the scent of guavas fresh from the tree, and it transforms eucalyptus mint into a mouth-watering tropical scent. To me, this is um, very similar to like an island nectar. Not quite the same, but it is, it's nice. You know, it's very heavy on the eucalyptus and the mint, but it's got a creamy, bright, almost melony kind of guava, which that is a, a guava on, on there. Kind of looks like an apple, but with a melon-colored center there. So it's nice, um, it is super fresh, so it is kind of nice, I suppose, to have a fresh, um, sweet summer scent, not just the overbearing or overwhelming sort of pomegranate, pom pomegranate lemonade, Caribbean salsa kind of sweetness. So, um, but he really liked it, so I figured, you know, I was trying to get them in, in threes, the candles, of course, to use survey coupons, so um, added that one to the mix. Of course, another London Calling. I'm so happy that this is back in test stores. It's back to the full collection now of eight, um, the four new ones and then the four returning, which you can learn more about in um, my video just a couple back of the city collection around the world, around the globe collection. Um, the tried and true London Calling, which I can't imagine they'll get rid of. I feel like they're gonna have to add it to their um, main collection. Core collection, white barn, even if they call it tea and lemon and not London Calling, whatever, do what they want, they should keep it, it's fantastic. Um, so I picked up yet another one of those, because I'm sort of, since I never know when it'll go away or when it will sell out, um, I've just sort of been grabbing them every time I go. So I, I'm only up to, I think, maybe two or three right now, but um, it's certainly one of the scents that I don't think I'll ever get tired of. So really, really happy to have that. Then, of course, uh, today the, the main draw for the event, aside from the sales, was that for any home fragrance purchase, they would also give you this little sack here with the fresh picked stamp on it um, and a four ounce, which is a nice value, four ounce of Market Peach. Um, and surprisingly, I, I actually had held, had, um, I held off on purchasing Market Peach when these were first released in the test form back in um, December. And I'm, I'm glad I did because they ended up, because I split up my transactions, the um, the folks at the store I went to, they were really generous um, and they gave uh, a few they gave me a few of these for the different transactions I did, which um, I certainly wasn't expecting, didn't request, but um, I was, was happy to accept that they, you know, were happy to do that as separate transactions, all with a home fragrance purchase. Um, so I grabbed a couple of these, so it's good that I didn't purchase a three wick of that. I do like the scent. Uh, it's kind of basic creamy peach. I prefer peach bellini if I'm going for peach, and peach is not my most favorite scent um, when it comes to fruit scents, so I like it. I'll burn them. I'll probably give a couple away just because I don't need... You know, I don't need that many of them, since it's not one of my favorites, but um, it still was nice to get. It's certainly a, a good value gift that they are giving you a full four ounce and not just one or two of the little, um, the tiny mini ones, which uh, they certainly could do, and that would still be appreciated, but this is uh, the nicer value. Uh, a couple other things I was really happy with that um, they had in store that, that I grabbed were these um, wooden, real wood, not not like a laminate or a you know, painted plastic, um, but wood pillars. I'm not sure exactly what they're calling them. I think it's just what they're calling them sort of a wood pillar. And they just have uh, short and tall, and they just have them for the three wicks. And they, I really like some of the things they're doing now with the pillars. It seems they're doing kind of every season or every couple of months, really, they're doing a new form of them. It started with, they had the, uh, I forget what they call the glass, but it's, it's a clear glass with a, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to rush here, a, a, like a clear glass with speckles of sort of metallic paint or silver paint on the inside of it. Um, and they had those for the holidays. And then they had the white ceramic, which is 
I think are still in some stores, white ceramic pillars and then these wooden ones. These are a little pricey, um, more than I wanted to pay, um, but I couldn't pass it up because I really liked how they looked. Um, now they don't have them for the single wicks, it's just for the three wicks, but you could certainly put a single wick on these if you wanted to. Um, let me just pull this down off of here to show you. The This is the short one, they're calling it the short one, let's see if I can get a nice... There you go. It's a really nice, I'm not sure kind of what it is. It's, they don't say, uh, it's made in China. So again, it's just, there's not much detail other than that. And they just call it wooden. Uh, it's got a good heavy weight to it. Um, but it's carved, so, seems to be solid wood, probably three pieces, the middle, the top and the bottom. And then they just have, uh, it almost looks like the, the inside reverse of the three, uh, three wick lids that, um, is in here to make sure that it's, I guess, a flat, even surface. Uh, which is a good call. I don't love the look of having the metal with that. I kind of wish it was maybe a darker or a black metal or something, but when the candle is in there, you can barely see it. So there's the short and then the tall. Um, the price on these, again, it was $19.50 for the short, I believe, and $22.50 for the tall. So that is fairly pricey, um, I, you know, because you can't use them with sort of the you know, get a $14, up to $14 item free for spending 10 which I think is how I might have gotten the ceramic ones, um, where, like, I bought one of them and then got another one for free. So um, I did these where, if, if folks, I know I don't generally talk about the transactions or, or how I do things, but um, I figured with this video, if any, it makes sort of sense to explain that, how I did it. And so for these, I did um, the 2250 one there on the right with this Fresh Picked Pears Body Wash, which was $8, so it worked out perfectly to get use a survey coupon. So that was um, $30.50, so that was fantastic. I like to use the survey coupons as close to $30 uh, without going far above it as possible, and then just you know move on to another transaction for the next purchase. And I really like this. Um, I love everything, like most folks, I really love sort of everything they're doing with Fresh Pick this year. Um, a little bit back to basics, really nice, good value on this, 16 ounces, is bigger than the normal body washes and cheaper than the normal body washes. Um, granted, they're not doing any sort of buy two get two, buy three get two, whatever. Um, but, you know, I don't necessarily need five or or, or even three or four of um, 16 ounce fresh picked body washes. Um, I love First Bloom in candles and soaps. Um, it would be a little too floral for me in a body wash. Um, and the strawberry is too sweet and fake. I haven't liked any of the strawberry. Um, Apple was decent, but been there, done that. But I decided Pears was fantastic. So that was one transaction there that I did which is really great. Um, the candles, I just did in groups of three. Um, there's one, I actually got two of the London Callings, so that's why you only see three, four, five, six, seven candles here. No, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. Um, you see eight candles here, but I did three transactions of three with the candles. Uh, sorry for the lighting. And then for the final one, I did the $19.50 pillar with the four soaps, which were four for 15. Now, generally, I try to get soaps only when they're five for 15, seven for 20, and I get seven or more, and then use a survey coupon to make and get them really cheap. With this, though, it worked that um, I was trying to really just reach the 30, so the 1950 plus this, it was, uh, you know, close to $35 um, for these, I guess, what, if it's 1950 and 15, it was um, 34.50. Um, so not horrible. I hate to go much further than that over when using a $30 survey coupon, survey coupon, but I did and it was fine. And so I picked up these four. And again, I know I don't always review soaps. I will tell you that I think I purchased the Apple earlier when the first wave of these came out and, um, I don't, I haven't used it yet. Apple, you know, I, I liked their green Apple scent when they did it in Fresh Picked. When I see it in red, it seems so fall to me that it's hard for me to use it in the springtime. Uh, but I had First Bloom, which I, I actually, this is my second uh, First Bloom. I really love it. I think it was weird that it was in Fresh Pick this year because it's a floral, but it's so sweet and so fresh and bright. Um, it's in kind of early, First Bloom makes sense, um, really an early floral without being too too heavy and, and too sort of late spring summer. Um, really, really nice, a wonderful soap. I love it. So that's my second one of those actually. And then I picked up the three newer ones from the collection, Wild Berries, Apple Blossoms, and Garden Herbs. And I'm actually very impressed with these three. Um, 
excuse me, I can sort of understand why they were more the second wave of releases, at least in the stores that I frequent. These, you know, the Fresh Pick collection, even in non-test stores, uh, as far as soaps, was out as early as, I think, January, early January, in, in the stores that I go to regularly. Um, certainly the Tangerine, which I also love the Tangerine. That might be my favorite. It, it seems so basic, um, but as Little Balladeer says, it's just really a great strong floral without being candy, without being cleaner, just a true tangerine, uh, like the, like the essential oil of, you know, the, uh, the skin or the peel, um, of the tangerine, just really, really, really nice. Um, I considered getting that actually in the body wash, but I figured Paris was a little more unique. Uh, anyhow, so aside from those soaps, these, the second wave of soaps really are, are quite interesting and, and very unique. Um, I'm going to actually do a sort of an in-depth sniff on these, since this video isn't too super crazy long. Now, wild berries, I went in here thinking it was going to be boring, a typical berry scent that wasn't going to really excite me, um, but it's really something different. Um, now, we don't really get notes or descriptions, I don't believe, on, just bear with me a second, on these, I don't think they say anything other than what it's made out of. They don't really talk about the, um, the notes, the scent notes on these. But, so wild berries, I thought it looked like blackberry, boysenberry, something dark. I figured it'd be very syrupy, sweet, almost sort of towards the cherry or wine, sometimes almost grapey when they go for berries in their sense, but it's not. It does smell familiar, like something they've done, or like a, almost like a, a, a fragrance that I smelled years ago. I'm just going to smell this here. It, oh, it reminds me of something that I don't know what. It's driving me crazy. I don't even know if it's a Bath & Body Works dupe that I'm thinking of, but it's something. If anyone has any ideas what this reminds them of, please tell me. It's uh, almost like a drink. It, I don't really get berry. It almost seems kind of masculine. It's it's like, I could almost see this in the men's collection, which I, I don't like the men's signature collection because they all just smell like, you know, cheap reed, reed duxes of themselves um, and like, like an Axe body wash kind of thing, but yeah, I don't know if there's like a heavy citrus in here, or almost, there's almost woods to this. Like, they could call this Berries and Bark and release it in the fall, and I, I would buy it, uh, figuratively and literally, uh, if it was considered, considered Berries and Bark. So, really like this. Um, yeah, I, I could have, I would have been happy to see this in a candle. And overall, I, I really would have liked to see more of these in candles. I think they should have gone a little more wide and not so by the books, typical, you know, they have their pear, they have their... Um, well, they did have their melon, which was unfortunately a test scent. Um, but, you know, their peach, their pineapple mango, um, all the ones we've we've come to know. Um, a little bit boring with the candle releases for those. So I, I wish they would have done more wild berries and, and the apple blossoms and more herbs. They could have thrown more herbs in there aside from lemon mint leaf. They could have done really even the Tuscan herbs from the Italian collection. So I would like to see next year, if this Fresh Pick collection was a hit marketing-wise, I'd love to see them expand it and do you know, how do 20 candles instead of the, the nine or so that they're releasing. I really think it's much more apropos than, than the beach collection that comes out every, you know, January that we've seen and we purchase, of course, but then burn in the summertime. It's just, I'm so sort of over that as far as their marketing goes. It's always like they do their tropical getaway in the spring, they do their tropical getaway in the summer, and then as soon as the winter candles go away, go away they do another tropical getaway. So it's kind of like enough is enough. But fresh picked really makes sense. These are things you want when it's just coming out of winter into spring, as we, you know, this weekend, spring ahead. So apple blossoms, moving on. Um, like a, a nice little, you know, sort of pink color, unique. Now, apple blossoms, of course, might be a little apple-y with a floral to it, or the actual blossom from the apple tree. I was hoping that maybe it would be drenched apple flower, which was a really fantastic candle that only came out last year. I wish I had more of them. I think I have one left from last year. Um, but uh, also along with Fresh Picked, yeah, they didn't do um, uh, the uh, mango cilantro. Uh, should have been in there. Flower Shop could have been in there. Um, really kind of disappointed with some of the ones they left out. Um, and last year they did test versions of a bunch of Fresh Picked collections. Or Fresh Picked collection, they had Tomato Garden, they had Honeydew and Thyme, they had Garden Mint. Um, I think there might have been one more. Peach Lavender. Uh, gingham apple, which might have gone wide. They had really a ton of unique, interesting things they were trying, and this year, the only tester from that, I think, was melon, and that sort of fizzled out, you know, from the first test wave and, and never went anywhere, but I'm getting off on that tangent there um, about the Fresh Pick line, because I, I really do. It's one of my favorites when done properly. Um, so I was hoping this could be drenched apple flower in a soap form, which we never saw last year, but 
it's not, but it's, wow, even smelling it again, it's really, really nice. Um, I get, oh gosh, it reminds me, it sounds strange, it reminds me of something from their fall collection. I can't put my finger on it. I'll probably remember and, and either annotate the video or comment. Oh gosh, yeah, it's, it's, it reminds me of, it's not um, even necessarily one of their fall apple ones, so it's not like an apple crumble or something. Um, gosh, or maybe an, a candle from last year? I don't know. Um, I suppose it's apple blossoms, it's light, can't exactly pick out strong apple or, uh, it's more of like a very light floral, uh, and I don't know what, but I really like it, whatever it is, it's, it's I think it's a hit for me. And then finally, Garden Herbs. When I saw this one, heard about it, I was very excited. Um, you know, I love anything herbal, and when they go full-on herbs and not just a sweet fruit mixed with an herb, um, I'm happy. And so this, I think the notes, maybe online they have the notes for the, the, the soaps, I didn't check. But I think they called it spearmint and another mint and something else, maybe parsley, which seemed weird to me. Um, but it's much more than a mint soap. Um, I... Don't get as strong of a smell in, I'm going to make a mess if I'm, you see what I'm doing here. Um, I don't get as strong of a smell in the deep cleansing as I did in the, um, gosh, what am I going to do with this, as I did in the uh, foaming, but I wanted this for the kitchen, and usually for the kitchen I'll go for the deep cleansing just because it, it's a little more intense than the, the foaming. It's a little bit sweet, it's very green, and I just got some on my nose. If you could only see the mess I'm making. Let me see if I can hold the actual thing here and get a good whiff. Yeah, um, when I when I smelled the... It, it seemed almost, again, a little bit of woodsy to it. Or a little masculine um, when I smelled the foaming version. There's some other note in there aside from just greens um, and herbs. Because it's not really a, a true herb. It's not like a rosemary or sage or basil. It's more just, like they say, garden herbs. A little bit, a little bit mint, a little bit green. Um, not really pine, but it, it's in the family kind of like the uh, the citrus garland, which I loved last year, which is sort of like some sort of green, a little bit maybe the parsley or maybe some mint with a little bit of citrus behind it, something. But overall very nice. So again, I'm, I'm hitting almost 25 minutes here. But again, just to give you a quick scale back here, um, overview of my purchases from the spring event. The uh, candles here, the pillars, uh, the body wash, and a couple of soaps. Um, stay tuned. Uh, my next video probably will be the comparison for the Oceanside Flirt, uh, Paris Daydream, all of that, Sparkling Icicles, to really try to pick up the differences between all of those, since we sort of we all sort of compare them to each other. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions about these or want me to do more in-depth reviews on any of this or compare things, I would be happy to. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I think I left out my favorite of the bunch forgive me, uh, Pear. This one, <laughs> the one that I have not showed in other videos, I forgot almost to review. So this, uh, maybe I'll do it, a, a, you know, an individual video for it. I was so excited um, when I heard about this one because I love Pear scents. Um, I've always loved their Pear soaps when they've come out, and they haven't had a Pear candle since Green Tea and White Pear, and, and even that wasn't a super juicy Pear. Uh, so yeah, so I, I, I'm very happy to have this. And it seems, on first sniff, pretty authentic. Um, not much more than pear, which I'm glad. I, I didn't want it to be a crazy mix of things. I almost feel like there's a little bit of berry to it. Let's see what the official notes are. Most folks probably have already seen this in their stores, but why not? So the subtly sweet scent of pear becomes even more enticing when blended with fresh spring greens and a touch of vanilla. Greens, maybe? Yeah, there's a little bit of sort of that slightly astringent green to it. Um, almost like the background note of the mango cilantro. I loved, to the core, mango cilantro, but um, I didn't so much get a cilantro to it as just sort of a greens note, because I didn't get sort of the soapiness that I think cilantro has, and I like cilantro. Um, this actually reminds me a little bit of the cilantro note of mango cilantro. Very, very slightly. I'm getting a little bit of that. If this was a little sweeter, and didn't have the pear and had more mango to it, this would this would remind me, or this would be very similar to it already does, it already does remind me, of the mango cilantro. So in no, is, in no means a replacement, and probably not as good as that, because that was a fantastic blend, but I really, really like this. The vanilla is not, not overwhelming. It doesn't make it sweet or dessert. And yeah, I really like the green in there. It is a little bit of like a, a hitch in the middle, kind of a green woody note to that, um, that I really enjoy. So 
yeah, pick that up. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, maybe review that more once I've, once I've burned it to see um, if it has lived up to its expectations, which are high at this point. So, again, just a quick overview of all of that. If you have questions, hit me up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your comments. Um, good, bad, or in between. I love reading them all uh, and responding when I can. Um, if I don't respond, please know that I do read them and I really appreciate all of them. Uh, if you ask a question, I do usually try to respond. Sometimes I may read it um, when I'm you know, running around the city and on my phone I get the email and I check it and I sometimes will forget to go back to it. So uh, please don't take it personally. If I don't respond, I, I do try to swing back and uh, respond to them uh, as much as I can. So I do appreciate all of you, uh, and I really do also appreciate if you've made it through this 25-minute video all the way. So as always, take care. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.